modern supercars have come a long way from their predecessors of the 20th century. Festooned with carbon fiber aero trickery, incredibly advanced driving modes, and automatic gearboxes to make driving them as easy as driving a family saloon. With turbochargers allowing for smaller engines and paddle shift gearboxes minimizing the time it takes to change gear, it seems that the age of heel and towing to a V12 soundtrack is sadly behind us. Or is it? This is the new GMA T50, the car that Gordon Murray, designer of the McLaren F1, has been promising us for a while now, and it aims to change the supercar rulebook. Look closely and you'll spot three pedals and the central driving position. In the back sits a Cosworth V12, the highest revving road car engine ever made with the red line sitting at 12,100 RPM. Look around the car and the McLaren F1 influence is clear. The car's nose is low and unspoiled by big splitters, while the headlights, bonnet and roof scoop all help it to look like a modern day F1. Gordon Murray has been keen to use the 90s icon as a benchmark. Everything the McLaren F1 gave you from a driving experience point of view has been taken to a new level. The car at 980 kilos is about half a tonne lighter than the average supercar. And the aerodynamics, we steered clear of having very obvious ducts and aerodynamic forms. And actually the fan has been uh, the element that's allowed us to keep the car pure. And it's that fan that's key to the T50's pure design eliminating the need for big spoilers. Like another car from Murray's back catalogue, the infamous 1978 Brabham BT46B Formula One car, the large fan creates 15 kilograms of downforce. It's stacking up as a bit of a Gordon Murray greatest hits then, and that's by no means a bad thing. The 690 horsepower 4-litre V12 sits beneath a large rear canopy behind the three-seater cabin, entered through some typically outrageous doors. The interior of the, of the T50 is absolutely even more focused than the F1. The feel of the switches, the haptics, everything is machined from solid. The whole experience of not just sitting in the centre, but the way the layout is all around you and driver focus. We've just taken this to a completely new level for high-speed cars. Top speed and acceleration figures have not been revealed because, according to Professor Murray, they're not important. But we expect the T50 to be challenging the likes of the Ferrari SF90 Stradale and McLaren's own F1 successor, the Speedtail. Just 100 T50s will be built each costing £2.36 million before taxes. It's a hefty price tag, but when you consider the going rate for a McLaren F1 is now upwards of £20 million, we'd say it's a bit of a bargain. <laughs>